Hello friends, in this video I will show you how you can use additional IPs in virtual main. Basically you can use additional IPs for many purposes. For example, let's say you want uh, some of your client to have additional IPs for their websites or uh, you want to dedicate uh, some particular additional IPs for emailing purposes only. So in that case, these additional IPs comes handy. So like I already have promised that I'll show you how you can use additional IPs for sending emails. Also, you can call it as IP rotation, but I'll not call it as IP rotation because it's not going to rotate automatically. You have to make changes in configuration every time you want to change the IP address. Anyway, so let me show you how you can make use of additional IPs with uh, virtual main and uh, you can use that additional IP for emailing as well. So let's uh, get started. Coming to my computer screen, here you can see virtual main dashboard and uh, this is uh, my main IP and this is the additional IP I have for this server. So now the first thing is to add this IP to the server. So for that you have to go to webmin and then inside networking you will find network configuration. So now here you have to click on network interface and then add a new interface. After that you have to name it with 0 colon 1 and then you have to paste the IP address right here. So let me copy it. Alright, in most cases you don't have to take any additional steps. But in some cases where your uh, VPS provider specifically mention the netmask and broadcast address then you have to uh, type it here. Otherwise you can click create and apply. Alright, for some reason additional IP I just added here is not being displayed. But if I go to terminal, so let me just uh, connect to remote server quickly. Here if I type IP AWDR then you can see this is the main server IP and this is the additional IP. So you can see like two IP is already present in network configuration. So now next step is go to virtual main and in here you have to go to addresses and networking and then go to shared IP addresses. After that uh, here you have to paste the additional IP. So let me paste it and after that save it. Alright, so new IP addresses uh, have been added. Let's uh, cross check it. So if I go to shared IP addresses, you can see like there is one additional shared IP addresses present here. Next step is to create a virtual server. So basically this IP address is already assigned to main domain or you can say that host name. So we need to create an additional virtual server to whom we will assign this additional IP address. So let's create virtual server and let's give it some name app uh, okay you can here connect you can here either create top level server or you can create sub server i am just going to create a sub server because i am not adding any additional domain name at present so after that uh, now in here ip address and forwarding you have to Make sure that you select shared 
and uh, your additional IP. So after that you have to click on create server. Now it will create the virtual server and uh, let's wait for it. Alright now additional server has been created. If I go to tab and type app.in learn.in then uh, you see that default virtual main page is opening. If I also go to my command prompt and type ping app.in learn dot in then you can see that IP addresses it is resolving is still the main IP address. So we might have to take few steps. So let's go to edit virtual server. And here you can see like IP address has been assigned uh, this uh, additional IP address uh, which ends uh, in 23 but uh, external IP address is still the main IP address of the server. So we need to change that also. For that you need to go to server configuration and then change IP address. And now here you can see the external IP address is uh, right now the main server IP address. So you have to select this one, the additional IP address after that click on change now. Alright, so now let's uh, get back to the virtual server details and now here you can see IP address is this one and let's uh, okay this page is opening and uh, what I am going to do is to open command prompt once again and if I type ping app dot in learn dot in then you will see the same IP address that is as of main server and this is because your local DNS is not yet updated uh, though you have made the modification at the server end. So what I will do, I will open MX toolbox and I will test the, I will look for a record here. So if I go to tools and then, and then here you have to select uh, DNS lookup. Alright, then I will type app.inlearn.in and then if I click on DNS lookup, you will see this IP address. So this is the additional IP address obviously. Now next step would be to go to server configuration and then you have to go to DNS records and in here so here you can see that I have MX record present here but I have to create three additional records for sending emails. So what I am going to do is to go to email settings and click on domain keys identified mail and after that I will uh, click on sign an outgoing mail enabled and here I will select uh, the domains to sign for app.inlearn.in and after that I will click save. So now DKIM key will be generated. Next step is to go to again server configuration and then DNS records and now here you can see the DKIM key. Next step is to create a DMARC record. So select here uh, type text and then click on create record of type. And after that in here you have to type underscore DMARC 
and here type v equal to in caps d m a r c 1 and then semicolon after that p equal to none all right after that click on create and next i am going to create a mailbox so i'll go on click edit users all right after that click on add a user to this server so let's add it let's say one care basically and password after that click on create in the meantime let's uh, in another tab open in learn dot in and this time connect over port 20000 and now here the user id is care at the rate app dot in learn dot in and the password all right so now you can see i am able to log in while it opens i'll open mail tester here so let's uh, copy the mail id for some reason it is taking quite some time to open so let's uh, open gmas in the meantime for testing so now here SMTP server is app dot in learn dot in and then port is 587 username is care at the rate app dot in learn dot in and the password guide at the rate one two three all right and then from email address it has to be the same as username and then the two email address let's test it all right so email okay it says that authentication failure all right, Gmas was facing some issue while connecting to my SMTP server on virtual min. So I had to restart my server. Anyway, now I missed one very important part. So before testing this uh, new SMTP configuration with Gmas, you should uh, go to virtual min and then in here server configuration you have to go to email settings and then here you can see like uh, it is still using the system default address which is the main ip address of main ip address of the server now if i have to use the additional ip then i have to click on this part and after that save it all right so now this part done if i now go to uh, gmas test tool and then click on test it then uh, email went out okay so first uh, copy this uh, email address and paste here all right so now email went out then i'll click on check score and let's wait for a couple of minutes okay so now it is asking me to check out now i recently installed uh, open vpn so let me connect uh, to that let me refresh this page by making changes into the url all right so now i can see there is even more issue so let's look at all of them 
and uh, it says that your DNS modifications are still not applied. So uh, let's uh, first of all fix the SPF record. So what I am going to do is to copy this record and uh, all right after that go to DNS records. And then I'll go to text record and after that create record of type and next I'll paste this but note this is not the additional IP address this is still the main IP address so what I am going to do is to copy and paste and after that uh, let me copy all right so after that click on create so now SPF record added. Next step is to uh, create uh, reverse DNS. So all right. So like I already have reverse DNS created, but uh, in your case it might not be the same situation. So you have to go to reverse DNS and then you have to make sure that you have this uh, reverse DNS record uh, created and uh, now after that if I come back to mail tester and uh, here uh, okay uh, now mail tester is not going to show you uh, changes in DNS uh, records immediately so what I am going to do is uh, go to appmaildev.com and here I'll do the testing so let me get the IP address sorry let me get the email address and then I'll go to gmas tool and if I paste here and test it and I'll wait for email all right email has been received now here you can see SPF pass with the sender IP which is the additional IP ending in 23. Alright and DKIM pass, DMRC passed, PTR exist record and you can see. Alright so now if, uh, if I do the mail tester test I will get 10 out, the, 10 out of 10 but obviously um, I need to do the test after a couple of hours. So this is how you add additional IP in your virtual main and configure that IP for sending emails. You should note here that uh, I am not able to use my main domain with uh, additional IP. So now here you can see like I have used subdomain. So if you want to use additional IP with virtual mean to create SMTP then you have to use a subdomain as well or you can use any other domain. If you want to use other domain then process is obviously same instead of adding subdomain instead of creating virtual server for subdomain like here I created uh, virtual server for subdomain you have to just uh, put the domain name here and then you have to configure IPs in three four places like I already like I just demonstrated and after that you are good to go. So that's all for this video and uh, in next video I'll come up with uh, some new ways to create SMTP. So see you in the next video and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, one more thing that uh, I should uh, tell you if you have any questions or you are facing any issue while setting up uh, while configuring additional IPs with virtual mean or any any other videos then you should uh, go to in guide website and in that you have to go to forum Alright, so go to in guide and then go to forum and then open a topic here. So 
if you open a topic i'll answer as soon as possible so that's all and see you in the next video thank you thank you very much